hey, what's up, what's up, what's up? Welcome to day five of Self Tape Mastery. Um, listen, this is day five. So I am actually live on Crowdcast. I'm giving my Instagram viewers a little sneak peek. I already warned them before we went live that I wouldn't be answering a bunch of questions on Instagram because y'all have been doing really good all week, sticking to my 20 minutes. Y'all know I get long-winded, but I'm sticking to my 20 minutes. So for anybody, if you are watching this on Crowdcast, on Facebook, on YouTube, on Instagram, if you missed any part of the series, I've gone live every day this week. Just click the link in my bio, click the link in my bio, wherever you're watching and click on self tape mastery and you can catch the entire series all week. Absolutely free, no cost. Um, just to recap, um, this whole series is called Self Tape Mastery. And the reason why I decided to do it is because I've heard from you, I've heard from you, I've heard from all y'all. And for a lot of my clients who I coach, excuse me, privately, Self-tapes are always the issue. And what, I, what I've been stressing all week is that it's not just self-tape that you do in your house. Um, it's if even when you have an in-person audition or a callback, what you're doing on this camera needs to be exactly the same. And so that's what I really wanted to stress this week. I want to give a special shout out for those of you who don't know. We have, well, we, I <laughs> have just launched the inner circle. It is now the only way you really can coach with me one-on-one. -on -one. It's part of my Bookie Magnet Academy. So I want to give a huge shout out to some of my new members, to Naza Usser, to Sheena Foss, to Veronica Dillard, to Ladios Muhammad, to Farah um, Lopez and to Nzinga Moore. Welcome, ladies. I'm so excited to have you in the inner circle. If you want to know more about what that looks like to work with me one-on-one -on -one for six months, holding your hand, walking you through getting more bookings, getting more opportunities, working on your marketing and your whole, your whole sh shebang, click the link in my bio. Or if you're on Crowdcast, you can click the link below. Okay. So let's dive into day five. You guys have been getting a good feel for how I teach. This is just straight no chaser, right? Hey, Tuesday. Hey, David. <laughs> hey, Tarnisha. Um, so listen, if you're watching this replay, I want to welcome all my replay watchers who will watch this later. What's up? Replay watchers? Love you guys. Y'all are what's up. So listen, Today's day five. So if you are just joining, I put a sample script in Instagram. You don't have access to this. You need to come over to Crowdcast to see it. Um, I'm going to share it on my screen on Crowdcast. So you're not going to be able to follow along with me fully if you don't come on over. But on Facebook, I put the link there in Hollywood Bound Actors. I put the link on my personal Facebook page at actress Christine Horn. If you're on Crowdcast, the link is right here in the comments. And hey, I see some people here on Crowdcast, but say hello. Come on, y'all. Don't, don't hide. Just say hi, because it already feels like I'm talking to myself. Let's be clear. <laughs> Thank you, Elisa. Hello. Guys, don't hi. Y'all don't realize what it's like to be on the other side. You, I just legit feel like I'm talking to myself. I mean, I used to do that when I was a kid, five years old, so no big deal. But it's nice to know. I can see how many people are watching. I don't know who's watching, but I can see the number. And I'm like, how come they're saying hi? Why are you being quiet? All right. So thank you, Elisa. Thank you for saying hi. And I see you guys on Instagram. So just a quick recap. Day one, we talked about not reading. I'm looking at my list, not reading stage directions. I did a really great example of using a hospital scene from a t television, med a medical drama on reading stage directions and how you can really do some more things, the things that trip you guys up when you're, when you have self tapes, when it's running in and out, you're doing CPR, you have a patient, you're flipping them over, you're running out the room, you're calling for help. Like that's the stuff that be messing y'all up. And we talked about that on, on day one. Day two, we talked about dressing the part, not necessarily being in costume per se, but definitely alluding, strongly alluding to whatever character it is that you are creating so that we can just understand you are who you are. Day three of self-tape mastery. Hey, Tiffany, thank you for saying hi. Um, day three of self-tape mastery, we talked about tech fails. And the irony of day three, oh my gosh, 
was that Facebook and Instagram shut down. Y'all remember that day? Like I was, uh, I was pissed, but I wasn't so pissed because we were live on Crowdcast, so I didn't lose any of the work. So especially if you missed day three because of all the Facebook Instagram glitches, you want to catch that. I talked about cameras, talked about backdrops, where to get your sheets, what colors you should use based on your skin complexion. I talked about editing. I talked about all of the tech stuff that messes you guys up. Taping with your phones, if you're gonna do it, how to do it, okay? That was day three. Day four, which was yesterday, we talk about focal points and really using the eyes to tell a story. I quoted Glenn Close from when she won her SAG award about having two eyes looking into two eyes and how some of your self tapes are not great or even your in-person auditions or callbacks are not great because you're looking randomly and I don't feel you connecting to something. So that's why. And I gave you some really great tips on how to connect to eyeballs, even if they're drawn on with a Sharpie. <laughs> hey, Roxanne, um, if you're curious about what I'm being lit with today, I'm only using my ring light. So for those of you who watch day three, all week I've actually been using my big box lights, but I wanted to give you a more intimate vibe. So you see how it kind of gives me this kind of circular kind of halo, like really zoned in. And I have it on more of a yellow light because I think the yellow looks good with my skin versus the white light that they give. And that's probably, that white light's probably great for some of my fair skinned uh, actors out there. So just, I just wanted you to know what I was using today, just in case you're like, oh, I like the vibe of her video. That's what I'm using. So let's dive in today five. So today I want to talk to you about pacing pacing, pacing, pacing. And so what is important for you to know so that you can book more film or TV, again, I come from a theater background. I did Broadway. I did The Lion King for five years. I grew up in the theater. So if you're new to me, just understand that I know what that is like making that transition. It was not easy. It took time. It took some coaching. It took trial and error, honey. But this is where we are now. So I do get that. If you're watching, like I do theater, it is possible, but you'll have to understand how to dial it back a bit. A big thing, a big mistake that I see a lot of actors doing are, are confusing the medium in which you are, are auditioning. And by that, I mean, you need to know if you're auditioning for television, what kind of television you're auditioning for will affect the pace in which you speak. It will affect the pace in which you deliver your lines. If you're if you're working on a film, that will affect the pace. And just this morning, my God, 7.30 a.m., shout out to Moya, who's one of my private clients. We were working on an audition, and she was auditioning for a comedy. And so if you're auditioning for, uh, and not just a comedy, but like a multicam versus a single single camera comedy will make all the world a difference as well. So the way you approach a script is going to be different for each one of those. So what I'd like to do, I'm going to share my screen again on Instagram. I'm just giving you guys a little sneak peek today, but if you want to come participate, see all the stuff I'm doing, just click the link in my bio for self-tape mastery. And you can join me over here on Crowdcast where I can actually re reply to your comments and you can be a uh, part of this, see all the screen share stuff that I'm about to do. Cause this next part is going to kind of suck for you guys because <laughs> you can't see it. So I'm going to share my screen here. So if you, if you're on Crowdcast, you can click the link for yourself, but I'm going to share it. Uh, application window. Let's do that one. Share. All right. Where is the thing? Okay. So what I did, I made up a little fake script. Okay. So for the sake of this audition today, we are all Jenna. Or you can be John. Just name it whatever you want to name it. So I have, have it here on the screen. Um, and so what I want to use this sample script, I just wrote this just type something up really quick for us to use today. I want to explain briefly the differences that we would have. Um, I see you guys on Facebook too. Let me uh, look at these comments. <laughs> I have another screen open today. So like, I'm like, smart. I see you, Sean. <laughs> um, so look at the script, take a look at the lines. All right. Um, hey, Abiola. Hey, Sean Thomas. Hey, Roxanne. Um, Okay, I'm getting other emails. <laughs> okay, so we're here looking at the scripts. There we are. Can you guys see the scripts? 
I'm not gonna go to Instagram. Somebody on uh, somebody in Crowdcast, just give me a yes, we can see it. Just one person. I know I've gone back, but I just need to double check. Thank you, Tiffany. Okay, so we're here. It's weird because I can't see myself, so then I panic. I can't see myself. <laughs> it's not about you, Christine. So the thing with pacing is the pace is not the same for everything that we do. So what I'm going to do is quickly, because gosh, I have 10 minutes left. I'm going to give us another, at least 15, because I did a lot of pre-talking. Um, for television, we keep all the beats. And when I say all the beats, I mean, we keep all the moments. So, you know, anybody who's worked with me, yes, you know, acting one-on-one, we find our objective. What it is, what is it that you want? What are you trying to get from the other person or people in the scene, right? Where are you? You know, are we in a hospital right now? Or are we in a, a hotel room? Are we in a bedroom? We're in a kitchen. You get to create all of that. That's what we talked about earlier this week, creating your environment. But then it's important you know what you're working on. So let's just say what I'm going to do is back to back, give you different reads so that you can hear what how I would change it for TV, film, or like a multi-cam comedy or just a comedy. But for right now, I'm going to break it into three parts. TV, film, comedy. Okay. And when I say comedy, I don't just mean like a grounded comedy. I do mean like a single cam or a multi cam or multi cam. Multi camera comedies are going to be bigger. For those of you who are new to me, multi camera comedies are usually comedies that are um, basically there's multiple cameras. A lot of times there's a live studio audience, right? But a single camera is a, more of a show like Blackish, which is still grounded. There's no studio audience, but it's still a bit more elevated than drama. But it is still a comedy. It's still a little elevated. So I like to use Blackish as a great example because they do a really wonderful job at that, clearly. So let's start with TV. So with TV, you have to have all these moments, but I always joke that you need to have them quick, right? You don't have time to sit in a moment. So actually, I'm gonna I'm gonna do it differently. I'm gonna start with film, so you can see me sit in a moment, and then I'm gonna go to TV, then I'm gonna go to comedy. So you all can see if you're on Instagram. I mean, if you're on Instagram, you're not seeing what we're seeing, but if you are on Crowdcast or Facebook, you are. And just remember, if you're popping on Instagram, I see some of y'all are popping on right now. Um, you can click the link in my bio for self tape mastery and join us on Crowdcast Live right now. But that's where, we're, that's where we're all looking at, this sample script. So I'm going to read the lines really quick. The lines are, listen, I've been meaning to talk to you about this for a while. Maria can't stay here anymore. She's just so annoying. I feel like she's trying to sabotage our relationship. Beat. I know she's your mother, but she's got to go. Okay? That was for y'all on Instagram. So now I'm going to do this as if this were a television show. Maybe just, you know, typical primetime drama. Okay? Listen, I've been meaning to talk to you about this for a while. Maria can't stay here anymore. She's just so annoying. I feel like she's trying to sabotage our relationship. I know she's your mother, but she's got to go. That's my TV ver. Oh, no, I messed it up. That was my TV version. That was my TV version, guys. I'll do it again. I'm going to do TV. I meant to do film first, but this is TV. So I'm having the beat. My objective is clearly mom's got to go. She's being too much. She's got to go. But I'm bringing it up to my uh, my husband, okay? So I know I messed you guys up. TV, 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 TV. Here we go. Listen, I've been meaning to talk to you about this for a while. Maria can't stay here anymore. She's just so annoying. I feel like she's trying to sabotage our relationship. I know she's your mother, but she's got to go. Let me show you what it would be doing, what it would be, how it would be different if this were a film. Same objectives, same everything. The beauty of film, why I love film, is that we're not in a rush, right? We ain't rushing for a commercial break, right? We don't have to sit and hold that beat, right? Because on TV, that last line would have been, I know she's your mother, but she's got to go. Because if the commercial, if that was the end of the scene and we're cutting to commercial there, you guys know I always talk about you got to hold for commercial. 
hold for commercial. Don't break. So even when you're doing your self tapes, even when you're in the room at a callback or producer session, don't break that moment, right? Hold it until they say, okay, great. Honey, I will sit in a beat for a minute. I will sit there, honey. I know she's your mother, but she's got to go. Great. When you hear great or all right, right, then you stop or you take the moment, you count to three or count to five, you hold that beat, you stay in the moment, and then you look at the casting director like, you good, boo? <laughs> you good? You need me to do it again? Are we good? We good or are we great? So that's TV. Let me show you how I would switch it up for film. Again, film is so beautiful because it's not rushing you. Listen, the editors, praise God for editors, honey. They make us look amazing. That's why I'm so great there's awards for editors. Editors will make your performance. It will make or break your performance. Be really nice to your editors, okay? Say hi, okay? <laughs> Treat them like human beings because, honey, they hold the power in that in that room. So for television, for film, we get to sit in the beat. And, honey, if they don't like how long we're sitting in the beat, they can edit it out. They can take that space out and they can manipulate it to what they want it to be. So same scene, same situations, same objectives, but film. Listen. I've been meaning to, to talk to you about this for a while. Maria can't stay here anymore. She's just so annoying. <laughs> I feel like she's trying to sabotage our relationship. I know, I know she's your mother, but she's gotta go. Do y'all feel the difference in that? Let me come back. Let me come back for a second to the comments here on Crowdcast. Do you guys feel the difference? Yes, Angel. Yes, Tiffany. I'm gonna come over here to Facebook, Instagram. I know you're not following us on the screen with the script. If you're not, if you didn't sign up, um, Brandon says editors need a special offering. Absolutely. Um, okay, there's no new comments here on Facebook. But do you see the difference automatically? Script has not changed. I haven't even changed my objective with the characters, but all of a sudden it got deeper. All of a sudden it's like, well, shoot, what's going on with the mother? What's going on with Maria? What Maria doing? Like, why is why does Maria need to go? And I love the fact, yes, I wrote it this morning, but I love the fact that why is she call her by her first name? Disrespectful. <laughs> Are y'all have y'all seen this is a Maya Angelou video clip going around on Instagram and Facebook? Shout out to my friend Craig Stewart. He shared it. And it was like an old flashback. It's floating around right now on Instagram. And some girl in the audience was like, yeah, I want to know what Maya thinks about. She was like, first of all, you don't call me Miss Angelou. <laughs> it's the whole, if you can find it, it's hilarious. Okay. So uh, let me check these comments on. Why? Facebook is so weird. It doesn't like to show me all the comments. It's so strange. Hang on one second. It's probably going to make all, noise. One second. You don't call me Miss Angelou. There we go. Okay. Hey, Sabrina. That's weird. It's telling me I have six comments, but I don't. Let me stay on task. Okay. So you can see it. So now let's do comedy. Okay. For Instagram, guys, just so you know, I'm not really, I'm not taking, I'm not taking questions on Instagram. I'm taking comments and questions on Crowdcast um, just because it's too much for me to manage. So if you're watching on Instagram and want to participate, Click the link in my bio for self-tape mastery and come join us over here. So I'm going to go back to the shared screen to share you, show you guys the script again. And for those of you here on Crowdcast, the link is at the top. Okay. So here we are. Same screen, same script. Now we're working on comedy. And I'm, when I say comedy for the sake of this, I'm thinking of it as multicam or even single cam, but more leaning toward multi-cam, which just means it's a little bigger. So for all my theater actors, my actors who are coming from the theater who are trying to make the transition to film and TV, especially television, single cam is gonna be your friend because you get to still be big like theater for the most part. Uh, I mean, multi-cam. Multi-cam, you get to still be big. It really essentially is kind of still theater. Single camera comedies, 
are more grounded. They're not as grounded as like a primetime drama, but they're more grounded than a single cam, right? It's just, it's in that in-between stage. So I'm, right now I'm gonna just do the same scene in that in-between phase. Listen, I've been meaning to talk to you about this for a while. Maria can't stay here anymore. She's just so annoying. I feel like she's trying to sabotage our relationship. I know she's your mother, but she's gotta go. One more time. Listen, I've been meaning to talk to you about this for a while. Maria can't stay here anymore. She's just so annoying. I feel like she's trying to sabotage our relationship. I know she's your mother, but she's gotta go. Comedy is always about landing a beat, landing a moment, hitting a, hitting a line. So that's the difference. So again, also not even just about delivery. I'm going to stop the share and come back to uh, uh, Crowdcast. Not even just about the delivery. It is about the pace. It is about the pace. So what is our lesson today? TV, we have the same intentions as film, but we just need to hit the beats quicker, especially if you're auditioning for a 30-minute show, even an hour-long show. You can't sit in it. You don't get to mull over the, the moment. Film, honey, take your time. No one is rushing you. Film, we want to see you work up to it. That's what's beautiful about it. It's like, you're here. Listen. I know, I'm meaning, like... You know, we want to see you. If you're about to work up to tears, let's let's see the let's see the as singers would say, let's see the crescendo up to that beautiful moment, and it happens, and then you take us back on another journey. Like that's what acting is. It is being connected, and it's telling a story, and it's it's when there's beautiful music and melody that happens. You know, do yourself a favor and study. Um. Meryl Streep, August, Osage County, honey, is a masterclass. August, Osage County. And I don't care, male, female, whatever. Watch it. It is a master class. That Meryl Streep is a beast. This, what I'm talking about, these highs and lows, these peaks and valleys, like that is what she does in that performance. And I don't just watch it as a spectator. You guys have to start watching television and film when you're Netflix and chilling. Speaking of Netflix, Triple Frontier is on Netflix. Don't miss the opening. Shameless plug. <laughs> when you sit, just allow yourself to just study and dissect whatever medium you desire to work in. Some of you really want to just do film. Some of you really just want to do TV. Some of you really just want to do comedies. Study that, study it, dissect it, because the people that you're watching on TV or on film have managed to master something. There's something that they're doing that is that is resonating with producers and casting directors and the audience. So try to emulate it. See if you can do it. Even when you try to emulate something, you will naturally put your own spin on it. You'll naturally put your own stank on it. I said this a few days ago, right? You ain't got to reinvent the wheel, just put some new rims on it, right? Just that is what it is. So listen, if you've missed any part of this, um, I, I hope you'll go back and watch the rest of this series. I made a special point to come live every day at 11 a.m., which for me is a feat. Putting on makeup for y'all in the a.m. <laughs> like unless I have an audition, honey, makeup ain't going on. But I really wanted to just really touch base on on these issues that were coming up for some of you that I heard about. Um, so please watch the whole series, watch it again if you missed any part of it. Um, and if you found this helpful, share it with another actor, share the link with another actor who might find it helpful. Um, you can connect with me if you're not connected with me on, um, yes, Vanzel, this is part five, this is the end. Click the link in my bio and watch the whole series. Vanzel talking about, did I miss something? Yes, sir. <laughs> so listen um thanks in all seriousness thank you for hanging with me if you found this helpful 
please share it. If you are uh, not following me on Instagram, please do at actress Christine Horn. And if you have been enjoying this training, if you enjoy the way I work, if you want me to hold your hand, I have space available in my inner circle that has just opened up. It is a six month program to work one-on-one -on -one with me. For information on that, again, click the link in my bio for you on Crowdcast. You can click the link, the green button below. So have an amazing day. Have an amazing weekend. Don't forget to do something, anything for your career. But um, with more than that, self-tapes are not going away. We are in the digital age now, right? So you need to have, go back to uh, day three if you don't have your setup together. There's no excuse for you not to have a flawless situation at your house. Don't keep spending money at self-tape studios when you could just invest $100 in getting your full setup. Like, if you got somebody who can read with you, you know, who can read well with you, just, you know what I mean? Just invest in it and that way you're done. Just be done with it. This isn't going anywhere. And you're, I want to say one thing and, and thank you, Roxanne. Roxanne says all five were great info. Thank you. I want to leave you with this as a bonus point. Okay bonus. What I think messes people up the most, us actors, the most, especially those of you who are in, who are not in New York or LA. And I can say this for a fact, when I lived in Atlanta and I was doing self-tapes, especially when self-tapes were kind of new on the scene, I was like, I did them, but I wasn't so stressed about the quality necessarily. I was like, my talent will speak for itself. If I'm right, I'm right. But what I didn't realize was that that self-tape that I'm doing in my living room or my office or wherever, if it is good enough, if there is quality, it has to make it all the way up the chain to like the big dogs, to the head of casting at Sony, the head of casting at CBS, ABC. And so it lands on their desk. And then now it is down to you and whatever other actor that came from the UK or LA or New York, and they went to a studio to get it done, or their self-tape studio was amazing at home, their reader, their lights, their editing was amazing. Yours was so-so. So sometimes you're talking yourself out of an opportunity just because your quality isn't good. I've had casting directors personally say, hey, back in the day, hey, this tape is not great. I can't send it, I can't send it on. Like the casting directors don't even want to send your tape on because the quality is not good enough. Because why? It represents them. If they submit your tape, even if they think you're great, it's like this tape looks horrible. The quality is horrible. I'm not putting my name on that. They think we're okay with that. And that's why sometimes actors in the Southeast get a bad rap because it's gotten better. Trust me, because I come, I come from it. So it's not a judgment, but that's why we have gotten a bad rap sometimes is because the quality is just not up to par with some of the other um, markets. So I teach and I like to share with you guys in my community what everyone else is doing so that you can match that and be on the same level. So when it comes down to it, at least it's a level playing field. All right. I'm Christine Horn, your life and career coach. I have had a, a blast teaching you my tips this week. Again, if you want to learn more about what it looks like to work with me, just reach out to me, DM me, click a link, something. But go back and watch this whole series so that it was not in vain. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye.